We made a detour today. Let's get into it. Guys, the chicken is here. We're back to another Boom Beach video. If you enjoy the videos, guys, I appreciate it. If you throw in that code, chicken in the shop, it does unsubscribe, every blah, 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 and thank you. So, here's what we did. We got up to rank 20, which isn't crazy high or anything, but it puts us on the right path to be able to get uh, some important stuff. So what I wanna go over today is uh, what we did. So we went back and we got the good doctor and I did go ahead and max him out. Now, you only need, come on, usually a tick four. I went tick five because I had a lot of tokens and I got nothing else to spend them on or nothing in the foreseeable future that I'm spending them on anyway. So I bypassed, I forewent getting the uh, the double shock launcher straight here. Now we're still gonna get those very, very soon. Um, <coughs> we just gotta wait a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, okay? So. Yeah, Kavan was the right move for me because uh, I was struggling too much with Brick uh, to keep the heavies and the bombardiers alive. And honestly, I wasn't enjoying that attack. So with Kavan, a little bit easier, a little bit more fun. You're always clearing the base. And yeah, if you guys are struggling, I would recommend Kavan if you're, you know. The thing is with Kavan, he's a detour and we don't necessarily have to have him right now. Um... It was the same thing with Zookas. Like, Zookas are now 100% useless. We do not use that node. We will never use it again for the rest of the season. So, stuff like that, you really want to try to avoid if you can. The only saving grace I didn't do yet was uh, I didn't max out the Grenadiers. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, we pretty well went all in and got essentially everything. So, here's where we're at. Now, here's what we're going to be going up against. We're going to be going up against uh, Rocket Choppers. Now, Rocket Choppers alone aren't that bad. Rock choppers with shock bombs at five, or with um, extra GB, and what else do they have? Just the extra GB, I guess. Um, they don't have a lot of tools just yet, but they, they you, you gotta make sure that your base is built to be able to survive a rocket chopper attack. Um, Cause if they are able to shock all of your cannons in two shocks, or essentially all of your base, like mine is right now, then you're gonna have a tough time stopping them. Um, <clears throat> so just something to be aware of uh, make sure that your base doesn't totally have all of its cannons right together that are easily Oh, what what they do have they have smokes. They have smokes. That's what they have um, So make sure your cannons aren't able to be um, You know totally bypassed by rocket choppers. That's what we want to look at feeling much much better today guys much better today So awesome. Um, yeah So let's go over our last hit actually that one was bad. That one was bad. That one was bad this one was okay. In terms of time, we want to be looking at like 220. Um, <clears throat> and here's the thing, everybody that went for shock launchers, we were pretty well able to beat all of them um, with Kavan. So it's one of those things, right, where you gotta weigh the pros and the cons. The pros of, the, of getting the double shock launchers before Kavan was our times on defense were gonna be a lot, a lot slower. <coughs> That's not really what was holding me back. My problem was I kept fizzling. So. Depending on what you're doing, if you're losing on time and you don't have Kavan, maybe don't bother. Maybe just, you know, dirty up that defense a little bit and maybe that's what's going to be able to push you forward. But for me, it was the opposite. So just having uh, the ability to regen those troops in really made, made a big difference. I don't like that attack, so let's get into a live one here and let's talk about it. So um, the biggest thing is we don't want to do what I just did right there, basically, and throw all our heavies in at once. We want to delay drop a couple boats of heavies on either side. That's just gonna give them a little bit more breathing room rather than, you know, everybody going in, everyone dies together. Sometimes you get into trouble if you come up on a grappler. It's happened to me a couple times where um, Kavan is standing behind the heavies in front of the bombers. Heavies are in the dead zone of the grappler. Kavan isn't and he gets pulled in. So you wanna be careful with that. Always wanna make sure that you keep Kavan alive. He does have a little bit of trouble in some of these four engine bases, but um, yeah. So, what do we want to do? We want to stay, <clears throat> typically we want to stay on the side that has the grappler. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to take that down then. Uh, we can throw Kavan out. It doesn't, you know, we don't have to super delay him. Um, but we just want to make sure that he's staying away from any boom mines or anything like that. That the heavies are well in advance of clearing those out for us. Which looks like they are. Um, and yeah. 
So what do we want to watch for before our first second win? We want to be looking for uh, how many bombers have died, how many heavies have died. Because the one thing we don't want to do, especially when we don't have Rifeman unlocked, is start popping early second wins. That's only going to be a problem because the, the Rifeman at rank 1, um, they have almost no health. They provide basically no value for us and they die way too quickly. Um, Kavan is looking a little bit naked there, so I'm going to use another second win. And typically we can get four second wins. Um, you don't want to use them, you know, all in a row. Even if your troops bring out, you want them to go kind of like this. Um, so he fans out a little bit on the side. And, yeah, let's see what happens here. We need... <coughs> Still got that cough. Oh, Kavan's going to go down. Is he going to go down? I don't know. Yes, he is. We even got the second... So he used all the GBE for that second win. But we didn't get him to actually... He didn't actually use it. He just kind of died there and flopped around. So if we had that, we would have been laughing and probably able to flare at this point. But uh, that's the risky move with Kavon. That's the, you know, that's the trade-off. Sometimes that's going to happen. All right, come on, guys. So we get into this point where, you know, do we flare or do we take out the shock launchers? And you kind of just have to, you know, um, and, like if there's one left... You can usually get the bombers to spread out enough where that's not a problem. And nice, I used the med kit on the heavies. I'm going to have to readjust here. That's going to kill a lot of my bombers. Oh my god. Can we get any more unlucky? Can we get any more unlucky? There's just fractions of a second that cost us that one. Wow. <clears throat> All we had to do there was keep either keep the heavies alive or take down the launcher. Either of those would have netted us like 30 seconds in the wind. But unfortunately, uh, just no luck in this game, man. No luck. Um, but yeah, either way, so that's how we want to do the attack. Nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. Gavon's not going to fizzle. You know, we're, we're going to get the med kit on the, those two heavies that are alive in time, and we're not going to... We, you don't get 130s with Gavon. That almost doesn't happen, ever. Um, so let's try one more, because that was dumb. <laughs> that was really dumb. Um, all right, let's try one more, and we'll show you guys how the hits usually go. So we'll go on here. No regular mines. So we can go a little bit fast. We're going to go one, two... One, two, three. Now this one I am going to delay drop one boat of heavies on the left. And one boat of bombers on the left too. Just to uh, to clear out that engine on that side. <clears throat> and we can pretty well do that once that cannon is going over there. We can throw Kavon down at this point. Uh, then we can go here like that. And we'll throw in another boat of heavies somewhere in the middle. Um, I don't want to throw them completely on the right side because then they'll just kind of bypass everything and run up there. We don't want that either. We want them somewhere kind of right about there. Um, let's go another second win because we did lose a ton of heavies already. Um, he's got three shocks surrounded by his grappler. Kind of a cool looking setup. Let's use another second win here. We got a good split going. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm telling you. But we have enough heavies here where we should be okay. But again, we, we missed our last second win, so that's gonna that's gonna hurt us a little bit. Um, we're just letting them fan out, letting them do their thing. We should still get a somewhat okay time here, I think. Um, we can do this. We can medkit our heavies to keep them alive because they're honestly more important than the bombers. Uh, again, just a hair of a second late on those medkits. Um, all right, so now we got. I'm gonna take that down. All right, let's flare here. And this will be a better time. Again, could have been a lot faster. Could have been a lot faster, but coulda, shoulda, woulda. All right, let's turn. Let's turn, eat some machine gun. And there we go. So that was still a bad hit. We still got kind of unlucky, um, but looks like we were able to come away with the dub. Yeah, so that was better. And that's the benefit of Kavon. You can do a bad hit, and you can still get a somewhat decent time. And, you know, 99% of the time, you're going to fully clear the base, too. So that's the benefits of the Doctor. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you know, without Kavon, it's a very frustrating... It's a very frustrating um, push because, you know, as you saw in yesterday's video, it's a tricky hit with Brick, man. And especially now, everyone's going to... Like, everyone now is going to have four shocks. Everyone's going to have all the defense. Um, so I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense for us. I think it makes sense for a lot of people to go the doctor route. 
And more importantly, I hope that that is going to help you guys out. That brings us right back to where we started. Uh, we lost our win streak, but either way, uh, big shout out to everyone in Chicken Chips. Look at this, guys. We got Little Bear Ballin, who is the same guy. I'm not going to scroll all the way to the top, but he was global number one for a bit. We got big shout out to Mr. Olson on YouTube. He's crushing it again this season, 21 and 20. And then we got Chicken bringing up the slack way down here. Um, we got everyone else in the task force having a good time. So if you guys want to join Chicken Ships, make sure that you send your request in on... Um, <coughs> I guess you can't request if it's full, but I don't know. Leave a comment. We'll get you in the Discord server. Discord's the place to go to talk about that stuff. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next one. Chicken is out. Back, back.